on how the markets are reacting to all of this and what the investor sentiment is like about this uh, is Ian Harnett. He's the managing director for European Strategy for Absolute Strategy Research uh, here with us. And uh, Ian, great for you to stop by. Of course, John uh, with us for the next couple of hours. Um, you know, you just heard from Lipsky there. Is he under, you know, in some ways, is the IMF underestimating what is going on? Well, I think that what we've seen now is that the global policymakers are very conscious of all the pressures. And I think the thing that changed last week is it moved from being a debt crisis to a bank crisis. And that's really what they're trying to solve with these problems, with the, with the, the policy measures that we saw in uh, In other words, weekend. it became a solvency crisis? It, it became much more about how the banks could actually reintermediate their sovereign debt on a level playing field. So it's almost an unintended consequence of quantitative easing in the US and the UK. You know, if suddenly, you know, if you didn't have to have any risk at all in your sovereign debt portfolio, if you saw risk in Greece or whatever, you could just sell it and switch it straight back into the UK and the US. And I think what we've seen is, is an attempt to try and uh, avoid that, avoid the kind of pressures that that then put on the money markets um, through, you know, worries about counterparty risk for the European banks. Right. But it almost seems like, and John, I know you and I were talking about this before, it almost seems like, uh, you know, what the IMF did uh, and what the EU nations have done is just buy a little bit of time. Absolutely. But that time is essential because, remember, we're looking at these government deficits right at the bottom of the cycle, right at the cyclical worst point. So already, let's give Greece some credit. The Greek deficit is down 42% relative to last year in the numbers that got published last yesterday. You know, we're on target potentially, even before the latest adjustment program, mm. to see the Greek deficit down to 8 9%. One trillion dollars. Ian, yesterday the markets were euphoric, money. fantastic, <laughs> it's all safe. Today, not quite so. Some are saying it's not enough. Well, what we're seeing is the normal market response. We had a major sell-off over the previous 10 days. You know, we had a fantastic bounce yesterday. Some stocks in Europe moving 20% plus. And, you know, what we're seeing is those investment managers who yesterday just had their, cl their shorts closed out. Mm -hmm. You know, they're now actually starting to think about what the long-term implications are. What's the real investment conclusion from this and how can I pick up the pieces. But is it enough money? And also, how are the going to governments who are it, giving it money to this money. fund? How you know, can they repay it is, themselves? It is money. It's enough money to cover two years of deficit replacements for Greece, Portugal, Ireland, um, and Spain as well. But can the governments like us, for example, sorry, who are actually contributing this money, can they afford? You know, what we would hope is that when that nominal GDP growth comes through, which is, you know, what you've got to achieve here, you've got to get nominal growth going, which means that monetary policy is going to be loose. Right. You know, the, then that actually reduces the amount of costs you've got. So time is of the essence. And just like the U.S., yeah. you know, time is actually a great healer. You put some stability in the system. Okay, but let's talk about these certainties. Though. We just talked about the uncertainties. But what about the certainties? I mean, have we taken the destruction of the euro? Is that off the table now? I think policymakers have said to you through this action, the euro is going to survive. It's a political project, and it's here for the next 30 years, and you better believe it. And, you know, whatever we need to do to put in place a euro, European Monetary Fund, right. you know, sovereign debt being accepted by the, gonna the ECB. Survive. It's going to survive. Okay. The second thing that I think they're trying to say is that there won't be defaults. You know, they will try. They they will avoid default. They will avoid restructuring for the next two years. The IMF have given you, you know, they've taken Greece off the agenda for the next two years with their support of Greece. Okay. All right, Ian, we'll have to leave it there, but great to talk with you and uh, good to actually be talking to somebody live in person here in London. She's so excited <laughs> to be in London, isn't she? Great. All right, good Ian, thanks so much for Thank Absolute you. Strategy Research.